Welcome back, Reckon Players. This is Marisa, and today I'm going to show you how to link up subrooms. Have you ever wanted to create a series of experiences such as jumping into a quest or crafting a story through multiple rooms? If you're looking for a simple way to link other rooms to your room, here is how you can do that. I created a hub room for my new quest, and now I want to create another room and link a door to go to the next part of the quest. Go ahead and open up your watch, and then go to this room. Once you're in this room, you're going to go to the cog symbol, and this is going to be on the right hand side. Go ahead and select this. This is going to be your settings. Now that we're in our main settings, you can see that this is our room settings here. In this list above, you're going to want to go to sub room settings. This is all your sub rooms. So as we add sub rooms, they will be brand new rooms, uh, blank canvases being added to this list. This is where all of them will appear here. Let's go ahead and add a sub room and call this quest one. Go ahead and create that. Now that I have created that room, I can now view its settings. I can copy it. I can also delete it here. I can also select it and then go to that room. I don't want to go to that room quite yet. I'm going to go ahead and select the settings here. And this is the settings of that sub room. You can change the name. You can also change the max player count in this room. You can also change the subroom mood here. Also choose set as entry room. Now I don't want this room to be the entry room. I want the hub room to be the entry room. So I will not toggle this on. But if I wanted multiple entries, I can do that by toggling this on. But I'm gonna keep this off for now. I can also move this subroom. I'm gonna go ahead and move this subroom and move this room to another room. So let's go ahead and just do that really quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and select a room and move that sub room outside of this one. So this one will no longer be a part of this experience. Select. So if you ever wanted to add a sub room to this room and it's part of another room, well, you can just go to that room, go to that room settings, then go to sub rooms, and then you can move that room by selecting move sub room. Before I add some more sub rooms, I'm gonna go over a couple little more things here. I'm gonna go ahead and select the settings for my home room. And I have the same options as I did with the other sub room, but since I'm already in the room, I can actually show gadgets to everyone. So will allow circuits to be visible. So if you're creating a tutorial experience or a teaching experience, you might wanna to toggle this on. Although this might raise some ink in your room. And then you get another option, it's called use directional voice chat. You can toggle this off if you prefer not to use this. So I'm going to go ahead and add a couple more subrooms to this room. I'm going to add about four subrooms. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because I want four different experiences for this quest. So I'm going to go ahead and add a subroom. I'm just going to call this quest one. I'm going to create another subroom. Call this quest two. Quest three. All right, so I may add more rooms later, but I think this is a pretty good amount to start off with. Now that we have created all of our sub rooms and they're a part of this room, let's go ahead and put up some doors and link through the different experiences. To get started, we're gonna need a door, but first we're gonna need our maker pen. So go ahead and open up your watch menu, then go to your backpack and then press use on your maker pen. This is your maker pin. Just take a look at your maker pin menu there. Open up the palette and go to props. Then make sure you're in dynamic props, which is a few pages over. You're gonna find your door. So go ahead and press down and then there you go. Your door has now been created. Now the first thing about this hub room is when we want players to select start, it will go to the next experience. And we can do that by adding this trigger volume. Uh, to hook up the trigger volume to the door, just open up your maker pen menu, select wire, then select the when entering into the zone, the door will activate. Great. Now we want to set up our door. Go ahead and open up your maker pen menu, go to configure, and then select the door. You're going to get several different options here. If you don't see any subrooms here, that's because you don't have subrooms connected to your room. 
but because we already set up quest 1, quest 2, and quest 3, we can link to those rooms. Let's go ahead and select quest 1. We also have several other different options. These are some really good options for inviting and some other options. You can force new instance. This is really good for some quests. And you can also hide the sign and hide the door. Now you can only see this option when you are not holding the maker pen. Not holding the maker pen. Great. Now if we go through this, then we'll go to a different experience. But first, we're going to want to save this room. So let's go to, back to the home menu, back to, to this room, and then select save. Now let's go ahead to the next room. And bam, now I'm in the next experience. I haven't really put anything in here yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and add another door. Go ahead and add another door here. And this door will go to configure quest two. And then I'm gonna add another door. I'm pressing create real quick. And then configuring that, home. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and save my room by going to this room and then selecting save. All right, so I'm gonna go to quest two. Now that I'm in quest two, I'm gonna go ahead and create my door. Just put it in place there. I'm gonna go ahead and configure my door by pressing configure, and then selecting on the door, and then selecting quest three. Now our quest two room doesn't pop up here because we are in the room. Now I'm gonna add another door here. I'm just gonna go to create and then add this door over here to go to quest one. All right, success. I'm gonna go ahead and save this room. And ta-da, we have our rooms all hooked up together. And that is how you can link up rooms to create amazing experiences for your players. And if this video was helpful, please like and subscribe. And remember, be creative and give your rack room best.